Congratulations, we are halfway through this semester. I want to touch base regarding four things right now. Number one, great work thus far on project number two. I've just started to look at the projects that you uploaded to turn it in, and so give me a couple of days to get all of the responses back to you. By early Sunday, I should have all of the comments on Turnitin so that you can go in and take a look at what I've said. In the upcoming week, I'm going to ask that you guys revise project number two and then upload the final draft to Turnitin. So that's one big thing for the upcoming week. As well as revising the draft for project number two, I also ask that you do a little bit of reading in our novel Fahrenheit 451. I ask that you guys finish reading uh, chapter two it's only about 15 or 20 pages, and then respond to a blog entry regarding chapter two. That response is actually going to serve as the foundation for the sorts of conversations we'll have as we move into the third unit and to the third project. The third project is a lot of fun. It's not academic writing per se, and so I'm looking forward to that. Finally, I ask that you guys uh, use the discussion board if you haven't been using it. Last week, there was a lot of really cool discussion about how to articulate thesis statements and how to revise drafts, etc. And so for those folks, I think they were benefiting from some of those conversations. I think we can continue with some of those conversations in the upcoming week. And as always, uh, it serves as a great extra credit opportunity. So what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to also give you until Friday, given that I want to make sure you have at least a week to work through the revisions. And so this will be the final time. But the work for this week, that is the revised project number two, and the blog entry will be due next Friday, uh, Friday, October 23rd at 12 noon. And then we'll be back to our regular Thursday schedule. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. Keep on moving on. Take care.